Kevin, our day is finally here. After months and months of planning, I can't believe it's finally here. When the sun had left and the winter came and the sky fall to only bring the rain, I sat in darkness. All broken hearted. I have thought about this day since I first fell in love with you four and a half years ago. And there's no one else in this world that I would want to continue this journey with. You are the love of my life, my secret keeper, and my best friend. Today starts the beginning of the rest of our lives. I can't wait to see where this life takes us together. I love you so much. I will see you soon, my love. I love you forever. Nicole. Our day is finally here. I can't believe that we have been together for over four years. From saying yes when I asked you to be my girlfriend to saying yes when I asked you to marry me in Key West. We are going to have an amazing life together. We have been through a lot over the years and I have no doubt that we will make it through anything together. You are the most amazing woman I have ever met. I promise to love you and treat you like a princess forever. I can't wait to see what our future holds in store for us. In just a couple hours I will get to see you. In the, I will get to see the most beautiful bride walk down the aisle to me. Not that it even needs to be said, but just know that I am always here for you no matter what. Now, is it time to celebrate and get married yet? I love you more than I can even put into words. Love forever, Kevin. kind of turns your holy That's your little baby shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for dad. Okay. And this one's for you. Oh. You each have to read yours aloud. Oh, come on. Shall you? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Mom, to dry your tears, you should always drive mine. I'm so grateful for all the love you've given me. Thank you for being an amazing mom and my best friend. Thank you for walking by my side today and always. You were the first man I ever loved. And I became his wife. But I'll be your favorite girl. How can I love the night of faith to fall? Watching you stand Who gives this woman to marry this man today? Her mother and I. Very well. Yes, we need the handshake.
forth in this beautiful setting here Kevin and Nicole as they promise to face the future together accepting whatever may lie ahead Nicole and Kevin nothing is easier than saying words and nothing harder than living them day after day Kevin will you take Nicole to be your wife will you love and respect her Will you be honest with her always? Will you stand by her through whatever may come? Will you make whatever adjustments are necessary so that you can genuinely share your life with her? I will. Good. That's good. Nicole, will you take Kevin to be your husband? Will you love and respect him? Will you be honest with him always? Will you stand by him through whatever may come? And will you make whatever adjustments are necessary so that you can genuinely share your life with him? I do. That's also good. Kevin, what token do you give of the vows you have made? All right. So take that ring. And I, Kevin, take you and Paul. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to always be your biggest fan. I promise to always be your biggest fan. And your best friend. And your best friend. I promise to create and support. I promise to create and support. A family with you. A family with you. In a household filled with patience. In a household filled with patience. Laughter and love. Laughter and love. I vow to you faithfully. I vow to you faithfully. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I, Nicole, take you, Kevin. I, Nicole, take you, Kevin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I promise to always be your biggest fan. I promise to always be your biggest fan. And your best friend. And your best friend. I promise to create and support. I promise to create and support a family with you. A family with you. In a household filled with patience. In a household filled with patience. Laughter and love. Laughter and love. I vow to you. Excuse me. I vow to love you faithfully. I vow to love you faithfully. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Only about an hour to go, right? <laughs> Actually, Kevin and Nicole. We've heard you promise to share your lives together in marriage. We recognize and respect the covenant you've made. You know, it's not I standing before you that makes this marriage real, but the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done before God, your family, and friends. So Kevin, you can take a deep breath. <laughs> the experience of living day by day as married people is about to begin. Go forth meet it gladly. But before I pronounce you as married partners, I have just one more thing I'd like you to do. You know, today, tonight, the last few weeks are all moments that are very fleeting. They really do slip by in the blink of an eye. So I want you to take one second to look into each other's eyes. Think about the happiness that you feel in this moment. John Lennon once said, a dream you dream alone is just a dream. A dream you dream together, that is reality. That reality begins now. It's my distinct privilege and truly an honor to pronounce you as husband and wife. Kevin, if you'll give me one second. <laughs> you may now finish the beautiful girl. Gentlemen, I'm not sure if you're aware, but in Ocean City, the kiss has to be seven minutes long. <laughs> so I want you to please rise, help them extend that out throughout the evening, and help me welcome for the very first time as husband and wife, Kevin and Nicole. Clouds are gonna roll, the earth's gonna shake, 
But I'll be a shelter through the wind and the rain And we'll build this love from the ground up Now till the weather is figured out, I'm the lucky father of that beautiful bride sitting right over there. Thank you all for joining us on this very special day. Nicole, you have been my beautiful princess since the day you were born. We watched you go from our little Maggie Simpson to a Spice Girl to an amazing social worker who's saving abused and neglected children from horrible conditions and giving them an amazing life. And now you're married. Your mom and I are so proud of you. You beautiful baby from the outside in Chase your dreams but always know the road that'll lead you home again. But to me, you know, you'll always be my little girl. If you're ever uncertain if you're my princess, just ask Jared and Cole. <laughs> but through all the grumbles of the princess, they've always loved and looked after their princess sister. Like that time Jared convinced you it would be fun for you to jump in the Naples Harbor. <laughs> and you did. And when Colton stapled mail to the dining room table, and you got all the blame, I think you finally fessed up. You're blessed to have two amazing brothers who love you very much. Like most fathers, like many fathers, I always knew there would never be a man good enough for my little girl. No man would ever live up to my standards, and no man would ever treat her like her dad. Happily, I was wrong. Kevin is an outstanding, amazing man, and your mom and I love him very much. And not only did you bring an amazing man into our family, you brought another amazing family into our lives. Nick, Pam, Nicole, I'm happy and proud to call you my family, and we love you very much. Okay, thank you and all of your fellow police officers 
for risking your lives every day to protect us. Go ahead, you're going to hear a lot of good advice on how to have a happy marriage. Like, be each other's best friends, don't go to bed angry, and most of all, take your parents on very expensive vacations. <laughs> but the first piece of advice I'd want to give, give you is keep God in your marriage. With God in your lives, everything will work out. Go on, take on this old world, but to me, you know, you'll always be. Nicole, you have become an amazing, beautiful, loving, and successful woman, but you will always be my princess. Congratulations. I love you very much. To Nicole and Kevin. Uh, 15 years ago, if you told me I'd be standing here giving Nicole's Maid of Honor speech, I would not have believed you because we hated each other in middle school. <laughs> um, but it was high school cheerleading that brought us together, and we've been through a lot together, and I do mean a lot. She has been my partner in crime, and I mean that literally. But all humor aside, I couldn't have asked God for a better best friend or a better godmother for my son. Growing up, I always thought it would be cool to have a sister. All my other friends had sisters, and I just had a brother. But I don't think God left that prayer unanswered. I think he was just waiting to answer it for when I turned 15. So there's not very many people I would trust to marry my best friend, but Kevin, I guess I can prove. So <laughs> I'm very happy for you. Congratulations. Yeah. Just wanted to take a minute to thank everybody for responsible for this beautiful wedding. Thank all the parents for making this day amazing and possible. Thank Uncle Nick and Aunt Pam for raising Kevin. He did the best he could, but Nicole, you were the main planner behind this day, and it was a success because of you. Kevin, good job for showing up on time. So to give you guys a little backstory, Kevin and I were the best of friends since we were young. Some days in this Wolf Hill development when we were playing in his parents' backyard. At the end of the years when we were in North Carroll High School, where we grew even closer. Even when Kevin went away to college, we still remained close. To be honest, when Kevin told me he wanted to be a police officer, I was rather surprised, but very happy that he wanted to perform the civil service and help those in need. I mean, he's not a firefighter, but we can't all be that good, right? I'm very proud of who you have become, Kevin, and who you plan to be in the future. I wish you and Nicole a very happy marriage, and that you have a very have many joyful years together that you can keep growing as a couple and a family. Thank you guys for letting me be a part of your special day. And with that, please help me congratulate Kevin Nicole. Thank you guys. In case you didn't know, baby, I'm crazy about you. I would be lying if I said that I could live this life without you. I would be lying if I said that I could live this life without you.